After studying this module, we shall be able to learn about the characteristics of tertiary phosphine ligands such as electronic and steric effects. We will also learn about synthetic methods to obtain phosphine based metal complexes. Phosphine PH3 is a highly poisonous gas which has significantly weaker intermolecular in attractions than ammonia in the solid state. It has much lower melting and boiling point than ammonia. Due to problems in handling of phosphine, it is hardly used as a ligand. On the other hand, substituted phosphines are easy to handle and are a set of ligands that are being used frequently. Tertiary phosphines can bind with various metal ions and acts as important ligands in coordination and organometallic chemistry. Like ammonia, carbon monoxide, cyanide, tertiary phosphines such as PR3 acts as sigma donor ligands by donating phosphorus lone pair to the metal ions and also behave as pyoacceptor ligands such as carbon monoxide and cyanide. The sigma donor and pi acceptor abilities of the phosphine ligands can be altered easily by varying the R group on the PR3 tertiary phosphine. A large variety of phosphine ligands and their metal complexes are commonly known in organometallic chemistry these days which is evident by the versatile applications of these complexes. Few of the phosphine ligands and phosphine based metal complexes can be shown here. Here we can see that the two very important phosphine based industrial catalysts such as Wilkinson's catalyst and the Krebs catalyst can be seen. Now what are the characteristics of tertiary phosphine ligands. The stability of the metal phosphine bond is a function of the electronic and steric effects of the ligands. The ligands possessing acceptor orbitals that have the ability to accept charge density from the bonded metal ion which in turn depends upon the crowding of the ligands. For example, the electronic effects. In carbon monoxide ligand based metal complexes the pi antibonding orbitals on the carbon monoxide ligand acts as the electron acceptor orbitals whereas in phosphine ligands the sigma star orbitals of the PR bond are the acceptor orbitals. The PR bond sigma star antibonding orbital accepts electron density from the metal ion and acts as the acceptor orbital in the phosphine containing metal complexes. This is also called back donation. This orbital gains thus gains stability and hence becomes lower in energy as the electronegativity of the R group increases. This increases the size of the sigma antibonding orbitals. This also makes the empty sigma antibonding orbital more accessible to back donation. This back donation also lengthens the metal phosphorus bond making it weaker. Here we can see in the picture the molecular orbital picture which is displaying the phosphine alkyl bond formed by the antibonding sigma orbital which plays the role of the acceptor orbital. Based on the effect of the electronegativity of the substituents on the phosphine ligands which is the R group, the pi acid character of the various phosphine ligands can be arranged in the increasing order which is shown here. Here we can see when phosphine contains very hard substituents such as carbon monoxide, fluoride, chloride, it is highly pi acidic in nature whereas when it contains alkyl groups such as methyl or ethyl it acts as a very weaker pi acidic character containing ligand. Since alkyl groups do not contain pi orbitals, the alkyl phosphines are thus very poor pi acids whereas aryl alkoxyphosphines are considerably superior pi acids 
the trifluorophosphine which contains the most electronegative fluorine atom has the pi acidity comparable to that of the carbonyl. Now we will see the steric effect, the role of steric effect in phosphine ligand. The electronic effects greatly influence the stability and properties of the metal ligand bond in metal phosphine complexes. The second effect that has a profound impact on the stability and properties in the steric effect which can be adjusted by changing the R group on the phosphine ligand. Influencing the properties of the metal complex merely by changing the R group is one of the advantageous properties of the phosphine ligands. Steric effects can be evaluated as the extent to which the crowding or bulkiness of the ligand around the metal ion influences the metal ligand orbital overlap. The bulkiness of the phosphine ligands has been quantified by Tolman in terms of cone angle and percent buried volume which can be shown in this image. In a phosphine metal complex the cone angle which is represented by theta of a cone shown here that contains the van der Waals radii of the outermost atoms of the ligands when the apex of the cone is at the metal. The percent buried volume has emerged as a new method of classification of ligand steric bulk which is the percentage of the probable coordination sphere around the metal ion that has been accompanied by the ligand. Both these parameters correlate well and provide a qualitative picture of the ligand steric bulk for a variety of tertiary phosphine ligands. These properties are summarized in the table shown here. It can be concluded that the bulkier phosphine ligands such as the trivinyl phosphine which contains very bulky R groups leads to crowding around the metal ion and also a slight elongation of the metal phosphine bond with an ultimate result of bond weakening, the metal phosphine bond weakening. The cone angle data which is shown here is a measure of the bond strength of the metal and ligand and can, can be correlated with the rate of dissociation of phosphine ligand from the metal ion in a chemical reaction. Here we can see the phosphine ligand containing bulkier tertiary butyl groups has a cone angle of 130 degree whereas the more bulkier groups such as phenyl groups this phosphine ligand has a cone angle of 145 degrees. The donor ability of the lighter alkyl groups such as butyl groups seems to be comparable due to similar donor atoms whereas the 160 fold increase in dissociation rate of the PCY3 complex can be attributed to the large cone angle and hence greater steric bulk of the PCY3 ligand as compared to that of the phosphine ligand containing butyl groups as R group. For example, in the reaction which is shown here, the ligand steric bulk influences the ligand substitution reaction rate. In this reaction, the rate of reaction for the most bulky ligand is more than 64,000 times greater than that for the least bulky ligand. Now we will see what is the role of bite angle. Chelating phosphine ligands of the series shown here usually results in a cis arrangement of two phosphine atoms. This disfavors ligand dissociation due to the chelate effect from the metal ion. The bite angle beta as shown in the image is the PMP bond angle, the angle between the phosphorus metal and the second phosphorus ion made by two phosphorus atoms of the chelating ligand and the metal ion. When this bite angle is too large that means greater than 90 degree and when it is too small bite angles such as less than 60 degrees this results in lower stability of the phosphine metal complexes. Now we will see the synthesis of various phosphine based metal complexes. The phosphine ligands make bonds with metal ions by the donation of sigma electrons to the vacant metal ion orbitals 
and by the acceptance of electron density into their vacant antibonding orbitals. This situation is similar to what is being observed in metal carbonyl or metal cyanide complexes. Phosphines are two electron donors like carbonyl, hence phosphine ligands also display synergic bonding effects. The metal phosphine complexes are synthesized by ligand dissociation methods. Now we'll see some of the ligand dissociation methods. We can do ligand dissociation by simply thermal or photochemical displacement of a carbonyl ligand in a metal carbonyl complex where one or more of the carbonyl ligands can be displaced by a phosphine ligand. These types of reaction takes place either thermally or photochemically where one of the neutral two electron donating ligand is replaced by the phosphine ligands without changing the electron count on the metal center. We can also do substitution of the anionic ligand in metal complexes. These are the reaction where the reaction of the metal complex with a phosphine ligand results in the change in electron count. For example, the nickel CP complex reacts with trifluorophosphine to form say 18 electron trifluorophenylphosphine nickel complex. Now we can see in this reaction the reactant, the nickel uh, nickel complex is a 20 electron species whereas the product is a 18 electron species. In this reaction the trifluorophosphine ligand is replacing the two bonded cyclopentadienyl ligand. The reactant nickel bis cyclopentadienyl is a 2 electron species whereas the product nickel trifluorophosphine is an 18 electron species. Now we will see synthesis of some very important phosphine complexes. First the Wilkinson's catalyst. This catalyst is used for homogeneous catalytic hydrogenation of unsaturated organic compounds. This catalyst is synthesized by the reaction of rhodium trichloride with excess of triphenylphosphine in refluxing ethanol. In this reaction the triphenylphosphine acts as the coordinating ligand as well as a reducing agent. We can see the reaction here. In the synthesis of Vasca's complex, the triphenyl phosphine acts as a coordinating ligand as well as the reductant, whereas dimethyl formamide acts as a solvent and a carbonyl source. Now we can summarize that phosphine ligands are an important class of sigma donating ligands like ammonia, carbon monoxide, and cyanide. These ligands exist both as mono and polydentate ligands. A large number of inorganic and organometallic compounds are known to contain phosphine or phosphine derived ligands as spectator ligands. For example, the Wilkinson and Grubbs catalysts are few extremely important organometallic catalysts which contain triphenyl phosphine ligands. The various characteristic phosphine ligands that affect the bond strength of a metal phosphine bond in a complex are Electronic factors such as the electronegativity of the sub substituent group on a phosphine ligand influences the ability to gain electron density in the ligand antibonding orbitals. Steric factor includes the bulkiness of the substituent on the phosphine ligand. This affects the metal ligand properties of the complex by increasing crowding of the metal ion and thereby affecting the metal phosphine bond strength. In chelating phosphine ligands possessing more than one phosphine group, the PMP bond angle is called the bite angle, which favors a stable metal ligand bond when this angle is between 60 to 90 degrees. The phosphine based metal complexes are generally prepared by ligand substitution method by the substitution of other ligands with phosphine ligands.